Hi guys, in this video, we are going to see how we can implement shimmer effect inside our flutter application. So we will show the shimmer effect until our data got loaded or when our data got loaded, we will show the data that is like this. So let's see how we can implement this. So before implementing shimmer effect inside your flutter application, make sure you have implemented the dependency of shimmer. If you have not done this, you can visit to pub.dev and search for shimmer and then copy this dependency and paste it inside your pubflag.yaml file. After this, we are ready to proceed further. Now, uh, first, now we want to show the shimmer until our data got loaded. And when our data got loaded, we will show the real data. Okay. So first, uh, before uh, this, we will see how shimmer effect work. So to implement shimmer effect inside flutter application, first you need to import shimmer and then dot from color. After this, you need to provide the structure of the widget over which the animation should occur. So here we will provide the structure. So I am right now passing the container and then the base color of the widget that is the child of the shimmer. So our the base color of child of the shimmer should be gray dot shade 200 and then the highlight color. So our highlight color of the widget of the shimmer is gray dot shade 100. After this, inside the child, we will provide the structure of our shimmer widget and the structure of our shimmer widget should be like this. It contains a circle avatar and a container and then another container. So let's make this uh, structure. So now what I will do, I will call row and then inside this, I will call children. And after this, I will first call circle avatar. And now I will increase the radius of our circle avatar and I will provide it by 28.2 and now I will provide the space between the two containers that was aligned in a row like this so I will provide this space so the space should be our const sized box and the width of this sized box should be 12.0 and now I will provide the column and then inside the children of column I will provide two containers and the width of our first container should be like this container should be 75 and the second container should take the width of the screen. So let's make the width of our first screen should be 75 and the height of the container should be 15. And then inside the, the second container, the width of this container should be double dot infinity that it will take the full width of the screen and the height of this container should be 15. After this, uh, we need to provide the spacing between the two containers. So we need to wrap this column inside expanded widget. So wrap this widget with expanded widget and then provide the space between the two containers. So I will use const sized box height should be 8.0. Now when I rephrased it, you are able to see the circle avatar but there is no container this is because we need to provide the color of our containers so the color of our container should be dot scaffold background color that it will take the background color of the scaffold now when i refresh it you will be able to see the these two container plus a circle avatar but it is not in a good manner so let's make it a, a more clearer inside the column i will make main axis size and main axis size should be our minimum and the cross axis alignment should be start. After this, you are able to see the perfect uh, widget, perfect structure of our widget, similar widget. And, and it needs some padding or space between uh, or space from the surrounding. So we will wrap this row inside a padding widget and then provide the padding of 16. After th this, the widget is perfect. And now we are ready to implement our shimmer effect inside our list view and we will wait until the data got loaded and when the data is being loaded we will show the shimmer effect after this we will show the real data okay so first what i will do i will extract this widget and name it as shimmer item shimmer item so now we have extracted the widget after this i have created a function uh, which will give the list of our map and inside this map I have created title, label, artist and song duration. So using this list 
we will render our list view so the data will be returned after 12 seconds that's why we are using future here and uh, as well as async to wait the to, to wait for 12 seconds after 12 seconds we will get our data so it will work as a server that is it will wait for 12 seconds and when the data is, uh, and and that 12 seconds we will show the shimmer effect after the 12 seconds we will show the data so to implement this i have to remove shimmer effect shimmer item from here and instead of this i will use future builder and this function will give me a list of map so I will copy this and paste it inside here and now inside the future builder I will call the builder property and it will provide me context and another it will provide the snapshot of our data so now I will check if snapshot dot has data that is our data is now available so if it has data we will return the list view list view dot separated and then inside the item builder it will give me context and another it will give me index and in using this i will build the list style list style and first i will go for leading property inside this i will load circle avatar and the circle avatar i will override background image and then provide network image and the URL of our uh, image should be come from this snapshot. So I will call snapshot then dot data and data will give me the list of our map. So it will give me the list and then I will call element at and the index should be come from here and now it will give me a map. So I will call it label for our image URL. So our image URL is inside our label property. So I have called their label. After this, we will provide the semicolon here. And then inside the separated builder, the same should be done here. It will first give me context and then it will give me index. And using this, I will return sized box for spacing between the two list tiles. So it should be the height of around 8.0. After this, the item count should be come from this is snapshot. So our snapshot should be snapshot. The item count should be snapshot dot data dot length. Now we are done with our data. When data is available, I will show this the list view. Show this list view. And when our data is in a loading phase, we will then return the we will return our list view dot separated and inside the item builder property it will give me same context and then index and we will return the shimmer item which we made previous and now inside the separated builder it will be same like this so we will copy this separated builder and then paste it inside here and inside the item count we will provide the item count of our desired so we will i will provide here 15 so now our widget is ready. So our future build builder is now ready. So provide const here. So now we are ready with our future builder. So it will wait for 12 seconds and after 12 seconds it will show me the data. So one thing we need to do is to provide the future of our future builder. The future of our future builder should be get song list function. So that is it will return the future uh, future the list of our map. So when I refresh it, you will able to see the result. So let's refresh it and see. So it will wait for 12 seconds. After this, it will give me a data. So just wait for 12 seconds. Now our data is loaded. So in this way it works. So let's provide some more data that will make it beautiful. So inside the circle, inside this list type, first and Another thing I will provide is a title. So our title should be text and the data of the text should be come from snapshot and then I will call it data and data will return me the list and inside the list I will query for the index and then I will query for the title and uh, I will provide the null check here. And so when I refresh it, you will able to see the data and then come inside subtitle 
and same it will I will call it here text and then inside the text the data should come from snapshot dot data that it will return me the list of the list of our map so I will query for the index of our desired index and then I will call for the artist so all these title and artist are coming from our list of maps like this here it is the title and the artist is like here so let's check again whether it is working or not so let's refresh our app so just wait for 12 seconds after this it will show the data so you can see that our data is now loaded so in this way you can implement shimmer effect inside flutter application or you can wait until the data got loaded or when the data got loaded uh, you can see your real data otherwise you can see the show the shimmer effect so thanks for watching